This week on the bench, we're going to tie you up the Parachute Atoms. Now the Parachute Atoms is probably the best overall mayfly pattern you're ever going to use. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we're going to use a TMC100 size 14. We'll use some black UTC70 thread to tie with, some short fine deer hair for the tail, some hare's ear dubbing for the body, some white calf tail for the wing, and a grizzly hackle for the hackle. I stacked some of my short fine deer hair and we're going to measure it up and I don't like it the tail too long, just about as long as the hook. That's about as far as you want to go, just as long as the hook, measure it back and tie it in for the tail. After I've tied the tail in, I've actually moved my thread up to about three quarters of the way up the hook towards the eyelet. Now I've taken some white calf tail and we're just going to tie in a nice wing here, a nice wing stem that we'll actually use to parachute after. When I'm tying in my wing, I also like to go around the base of the wing quite a few times, at least six or seven wraps around the base and that really allows that wing to sit real nice and upright for parachuting. I've moved my thread to the back of the hook, just in front of the tail, and now we're actually going to put on our hair's ear dubbing and just dub all in a body. And we definitely want to taper the body, keeping it thin at the back and taper it towards the front. So we'll just dub on right now. Now I'm going to wrap it forward and taper the body. Wrap it right up to the wing. Now that I have the body tied in, I'm going to take a grizzly hackle and tie it in where the body ended. And we're just going to wrap it around our wing that we just formed and form a nice parachute hackle on the fly. Now to finish the fly off, I'm going to take some more hair's ear dubbing and I'm going to dub it on just a little bit thicker. And we're just going to wrap it around the front of the fly to form the head. A couple times behind the hackle we just tied in just to fill in the body and then around the front to form the head on the fly. And there it is, the finished parachute atoms. You know, as I said in the intro, this is the most versatile mayfly imitation you're ever going to use. Always make sure you have some in your fly box.